Um, before we get going, uh, just a note uh, to all of you, uh, you would have noticed that uh, staff members, many of them, came in as professional and proceeded to uh, leave the auditorium. Uh, they graciously offered to do so uh, tonight to provide more room for seating for parents, family members, and grandparents, uh, our graduates this year. And we will have a live stream up in the staff room, but they will be enjoying it there. I'd like to wish you all a good evening. I'd like to, of course, our graduates uh, sitting behind me, our honored guests as well, parents, family members, and friends. Welcome to Laura Seacourt Secondary School's class of 2016 graduation ceremony. My name is Mike Balsam. I'm a teacher here at Laura Seacourt. I have the pleasure of, bringing, of being your master of ceremonies this evening, along with my colleague, Jane Davies, who you will meet in just a few moments. At this time, I would like to call on Ms. Jennifer Ajandi, trustee from the District School Board of Niagara, to bring greetings from the board. Thank you very much. Congratulations, graduates, and a big, uh, amazing welcome to the musician clubhouse. That was a great opening. Brilliant. I'm here on behalf of the trustees and senior leadership team of the ASBN. It's my pleasure to be here tonight to congratulate all of the students for reaching this important milestone. Achieving your secondary school graduation diploma is a result of your commitment, hard work these past four years, and you should be justifiably proud of what you've accomplished. And I'm sure most of you will agree that you could not have reached this goal without the support of a number of people who are here with you tonight. Thanks should go out to your families for their encouragement, ongoing support of your efforts, whether it's controlling you into doing homework, driving to events, giving moral support, they've all been instrumental in getting you to this point. Thanks must also go out to your teachers and administrators who have been there for you to ensure that you continue on this track. In addition to teaching the required curriculum, they've provided a variety of clubs, teams, and other program opportunities to allow you to reach your highest potential. Um, I also graduated from the arts program uh, at District, so it's really amazing to see it uh, thrive at this high school. This is the beginning of a whole new chapter for you, whether you're joining the workforce, starting an apprenticeship, or entering college or university, I encourage you to use the skills and knowledge that you've learned in school and continue to excel. Best wishes to each of you in your future endeavors. And thank you very much, uh, Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Legendi. I'd like to now call upon our principal, Mrs. Ruth Herner, to deliver her address to this year's graduates. Graduation is a time for reflection as well as celebration. As you look back on high school and all that has taken place in your life, remember each experience for the good that has come of it and for the knowledge that you have gained. Remember the efforts you have made and the goals that you have reached. Remember the love that you have shared and the happiness that you have brought. Remember the laughter, the joy, the hard work, and the tears. And as you reflect on high school, also be thinking of the new experiences to come. Because most importantly, the next phase is a time of birth, new beginnings, and the celebration of life. Today, a new door opens for you, and beyond that lies a new horizon. It has always been there, but you needed this place tonight to really see it. Today, you can really appreciate your achievement in graduating for what it truly is the key to open the door to your next step. <coughs> None of us can know with any certainty what lies on the other side of the door. But the beauty about walking down the path of opportunity is that as soon as you embark upon a journey, more doors appear, and the more choice is apparent. The direction you think you are now may very well change, and the wonderful thing is, however, that you have choices. Celebrate where you've been, where you are going, and the love of life that inspires you to grow your whole life through. Today we are here celebrating the graduating class of 2016. But for a few minutes, we would also like to honor a grade 12 student who couldn't be here with us today, and to give her recognition for her accomplishments throughout her high school career here at North Seaport. Emily Wilby will be loved throughout the school by many students, teachers, and staff for her bold and vibrant personality. 
With her heart of gold, she helped all her friends with homework and would fill the class with laughter within seconds of entering the room. As an unforgettable friend, student, and classmate, we remember that she is here watching over us and will remain always in our hearts. We wish you well as you enjoy the summer, be wise and safe, and let your journey begin. Thank you very much, uh, Mrs. Herder. Before we begin the Community Awards presentations, I'd like to remind parents that you are welcome to approach the stage uh, for pictures if you wish. Uh, you can do that uh, both during the awards and also uh, during the presentation of the diplomas. Uh, please also keep in mind that we have uh, Irene and Sharon from our uh, company that does our photography here, Life Touch. They are also here taking photographs. They will make those photographs available to you online uh, to you and the graduates after the ceremony. At this time, I would like to call upon my colleague, Jane Davies, to introduce this year's Community Award winners. Thank you and welcome family and friends. And congratulations, graduates. The Apex Driving Academy Award is or award is awarded annually to deserving graduating students. Presenting this award is Paul Taylor. Recipients of this award are Teo Kramer, Farhan Hassan, and Tom Levante. presented on behalf of St. Catherine's Member of Parliament, Chris Biddle, to a student who has demonstrated the qualities of good citizenship within Laura Secord community and during their time here as a student. Presenting this award is Paul Taylor. Recipient of this award is Emma Wazlenko. of University Women St. Catherine's Award was established to honor a young woman who is graduating and has demonstrated outstanding achievement in the fields of mathematics, science, and or technology. Presenting this award is Diane Marshall. Recipient of this award is Zara Simpson. The Chartwell's School Dining Bursary, sponsored by our school's food service provider, is awarded annually to a deserving graduating student. Our presenter for this award is Paul Taylor. Recipients of this award are Alexa Ballas and Michaela Todd. is donated by Daryl Mahoney in memory of Derek, a 1983 graduate of Laura Secord who achieved success as a journalist before his untimely death. It is awarded annually to a student who has demonstrated proficiency and achievement in writing and who is pursuing a post-secondary program in journalism, English language, literature, or arts and culture. Presenting, oh, no, sorry, recipient of this award is Logan Hymans, who is unable to be here this evening. The Diane McQuaid Pamela Robbs scholarships are presented in honor of Diane and Pamela, both of whom were involved in the local music scene and both well loved local educators. 
The award is sponsored by the St. Catharines Rotary Club and is administered by the Niagara Men's Chorus. It is presented to students who have excelled academically and in music performance and who have made a contribution to their schools and their community and who plan to study music at a post-secondary institution. Presenting this award is Rick Evans. Recipients of this award are Celeste Brion, Bridget Gaines, and Todd Morgan. is donated by the Revere family in Eckhart's memory, an electrician by trade, but also a man who is handy at many things. It is awarded annually to a graduating student who is pursuing a post-secondary program that is trade-related. Presenting this award is Sonia Revere. Recipient of this award is Holly Thompson. Arts at Laura Secord. Patricia Ware will present this award to Harrison Kerr. Volunteer Award recognizes an exemplary graduating student who has not only completed the number of volunteer hours required to graduate, but who has demonstrated commitment to his or her community through selflessly giving of their time to help others. Presenting this award is Paul Taylor. Recipient of this award is Spencer DeMorne. Theater Scholarship is presented to a student who has excelled in music theater at Laura Seacord. Presenting this award is Jim Cooper. Recipient of this year's award is Celeste Brion. by the St. Catharines chapter are presented to one male and one female graduating student who, in the opinion of their peers and teachers, have made a significant contribution to the life of our school over the course of their time here. As dictated by the selection code set by the Rotary Club, the selected students should be good students who have those characteristics, abilities, and interests which would make them both a worthy representative of the school and a personification of the club's motto, service above self. The recipients were also honored at a recent luncheon. Presenting this year's awards is Rotary representative Rick Evans. Recipients of these awards are Bridget Gaines and Sumitra Biswa. Education Scholarship 
is presented to a deserving student who has excelled in the visual arts, exemplifies community and artistic merits, and is pursuing a post-secondary education in the visual arts area. Presenting this award is Patricia Ware. Recipient of this award is Haley Ginnier. Taylor's parents in her memory. It is awarded annually to deserving graduating students who will be continuing their education at a post-secondary institution. Presenting this award is Gary Allen. The recipients of this award are Ada Pines and Katie Jurich. Congratulations to all our community award winners. We begin now with our school awards. The Arlene Coughlin Dramatic Arts Award is presented by the school's drama department in our honor of Arlene Coughlin, a former drama teacher at our school. It is awarded annually to a student who has excelled in the dramatic arts over his or her four years at Sequoia, both as a student as well as a performer in musicals, drama nights, and Sears productions. Presenting this award is Tracy Thorpe. Receiving this award is Brianna Rogers. Martel Award of Merit is presented by the school's drama department in honor of Brian DeMartle, a former drama teacher at our school. It is awarded annually to a graduating student who has excelled in the dramatic arts over his or her four years at Seacord as a student and performer, as well as someone who has made a significant contribution in the te technical and production area. Tracy Thorpe will be presenting this award as well. Receiving this year's award is Alexa Ballas. <laughs> the Education Foundation of Niagara Student Achievement Award, sponsored by the fundraising arm of the DSBN, is presented to a deserving graduating student who displays good citizenship, honesty, integrity, a keen sense of responsibility, and who makes a contribution to the school. Presenting this award is Jennifer Ajandi. The recipient is Spencer DeMore. by his family in memory of Gino, a longtime staff member at Laura Secord and an accomplished jazz musician. It is awarded to a graduating student who has excelled in music and has demonstrated exceptional ability. Presenting this award is Dave Sisler. The recipient is Todd Morgan. Music Trophy is donated by the Chapel Singers and presented by our music department in memory of Henry, the very first head of music at Laura Seaford. 
a longtime consultant with the school board and the founding director of the Chapel Singers. It is awarded annually to an outstanding music student who has graduated and has been significantly involved with music council and various music activities throughout his or her time in Seacourt. This award is presented by Barbara Mutton and David Sisler. The recipient is Basil Sonia. Secondary School and is named in memory of the founding principal of our school and the namesake of this theater. It is awarded annually to deserving graduating students who are continuing their education at the post-secondary level. Presenting this award is Tara Penner. The recipients are Logan Islands and Jessica Johnson. is presented by the school's Dramatic Arts Department. It is awarded annually to a student who has made a contribution to and excelled in the technical aspect of Dramatic Arts at Lower Seaport. Presenting this award is David Sisler. The recipients are Spencer DeMore and Jillian Wilson. Award is presented annually to a graduating student who has excelled in technological studies at Laura Seacord. Presenting this award is Greg Staples, and the recipient this year is Jillian Wilson. by the school's guidance department and is awarded annually to a graduating student who is proceeding to a post-secondary institution who has completed at least 100 hours of community service and who has made a significant contribution to the school. This award is presented by Vince DeLuca. The recipients are Jessica Johnson and Todd Morgan. donated by Janice Johnstone, our school's librarian, on behalf of the school's library. It is awarded annually to a deserving graduating student. Presenting this award is Paul Taylor. The recipient of this year's award is Farhan Hassan. Thank you. 
Secondary School Council Award is presented annually to graduating students who have achieved good academic results, have demonstrated outstanding school or community service, and who are continuing their education at a post-secondary level. Presenting this award is Jennifer Johnson. The recipients are Danny Pazella, Todd Morgan, Basil Saunier, and Michaela Sonnenberg. Strings Award is presented by the school's music department. It is awarded annually to a student who has excelled in string instruments at Laura Seacourt. Presenting this award is Dave Sisler, and the recipient of this year's award is Basil Sonia. The Laura Seacord Student Union Scholarship is awarded annually to a graduating student who is pursuing their education at the post-secondary level, who has achieved good academic results, and has demonstrated a contribution to the school through their involvement with student union, the prefects, or at least two other major school activities. Presenting this award is Paul Taylor. The recipient of this award is Tom Lewandowski. The Lincoln County Student Aid Fund Scholarship is administered by the DSBN Scholarship Committee and is presented to, the grad to a graduating student from a secondary school administered by the former Lincoln County Board of Education who has achieved good academic results and has been involved in extracurricular activities. The selected student must have been accepted by a university or community college. Presenting this award is Jennifer Ajandi, and the recipient of this year's award is Sumitra Biswa. <laughs> the Maria Bangelov Stage and School Award is presented by the School Arts Department in honor of Maria Bangelov a former art teacher at our school. It is awarded annually to a graduating student who has excelled in stage design at Laura Seacourt. Presenting this award is Patricia Ware. The recipient of this award is Chardon Trimblecourt. <laughs> Award for Student Leadership to Danny Cazella. <laughs> Danny has demonstrated leadership qualities throughout her high school career here at Secord. She has been on Student Union for four years and co-president in her final year. Through her involvement in the arts, athletics, and academics, she is well known as a thoughtful, considerate person. Danny has been a jump mentor and a peer leader supporting local music students for Bonnie Henderson. 
Furthermore, Danny is an advocate for healthy living in youth surrounding mental and sexual health and tobacco yeah, program with public health. Danny, the only thing better than being a mom or dad is being an aunt or an uncle. You have to balance being their friend with being their second set of parents. You have to have fun without spoiling them. Enjoy your time at Carleton closer to your knees. understated leader. What makes him outstanding is he's always ready to help. Basil is the only one in Mrs. Fowler's grade 12 function class that got her movie references and jokes, specifically her Spinal Tap movie jokes. <laughs> he was also an extremely patient peer tutor for her in grade 9 applied class last year. The students really took to him and respected him. He was always on in grade 12 function class, constantly participating and always doing every stitch of homework, whether he had a late music gig the night before or not. In the words of George Martin, never forget what you are, for surely the world will not. Make it your strength. Then it can never be your weakness. Armor yourself in it, and it will never be used to hurt you. Basil, enjoy your time at Waterloo. Teachers Federation District 22 Bursary is presented to a graduating student who is continuing to post-secondary education and who has demonstrated responsibility within the school and community. Presenting this award is Julie Predovich and this year's recipient is Zara Simpson. by the Lorsi Court Yearbook Committee and is presented annually to a graduating student who has made an outstanding contribution to this year's Patriot Yearbook. Presenting this award is Julie Predovich and the recipients this year are Rhea Gupta and Arma Khan. Success Award is presented by the District School Board of Niagara to a graduating student who plans to directly into the workplace and who has demonstrated a strong work ethic, good citizenship, and exemplary employability skills. The student must also have achieved an average of 60% or better in their best six senior credits. I will be presenting the award this year to Michael Whitehead. Education Award is sponsored jointly by the District School Board of Niagara and the Ontario Secondary School Teachers Federation District 22 and goes to a graduating student who demonstrates excellence in citizenship, leadership, 
school participation, academic achievement, and community involvement. The recipient has been previously honored at a recent dinner. Presenting this award is Jennifer Ajandi, and the recipient is Todd Morgan. The Governor General's Academic Medal is a nation or a national award that is presented to the student who graduates with the highest standing in his or her senior level courses. The medal bears the crest of the Royal Arms of Canada and is given in the name of the Right Honourable David Johnston, 28th Governor General of Canada. Presenting this award is Ruth Herndor. And the recipient is Todd Morgan with a graduating average of 94.8. Congratulations to all of our award winners.